Hi there. I'm going to be reading a story called Giraffe Problems. I want you to stop and think, what do you think the problem is with this giraffe? Make a prediction. All right. It's by Jory John and illustrated by Lane Smith. I feel bad about my neck. I do. I can't help it. Hmm. Is that what you were thinking? Was, his problem was his neck? It's too long, too bendy, too narrow, too dopey, too patterned, too stretchy, too high, too lofty, too necky. Yes, my neck is too necky. Everybody stares at it. It's kind of true, right? When you go to the zoo, you look to see, that's a really long neck. That's what they're known for, right? This guy, that guy, him, her, them, whatever that is, her again. They're all staring at his neck. Yep, I feel bad about my neck. I've tried dressing it up. I've added a scarf, two scarves, a bundle of scarves, a mountain of scarves. I've tried bow ties and regular ties and both. That kind of looks like it might just draw more attention to his neck. I've tried hiding it away. I've, I've used shrubs. I've hung out on, in niches. I've stood behind trees. I've spent time in the river. Other animals have necks that just work. Take a gander at this zebra's neck. Stripes always look good. So classic. Quit staring at me. Or gaze upon this elephant's neck. Strong and powerful, yet graceful. Stop looking at me! Or glimpse this lion, whose neck is adorned with a glorious mane flowing locks. What a sight! How inspiring! Why can't I have a neck like that? Are you always this loud? My mom always said I should be proud of my neck. She said other animals would love to have a neck like this. Yeah, right. No offense, Mom, but nobody wants this neck. It's a neck only a mother could love. It all makes me want to hide until the sun sets. Do you like his neck? Sheesh! Or something. Good evening. Oops. <laughs> I've been admiring your neck from afar. Oh, how I wish my neck looked like yours. I'd get so much done in a day. Do you think Giraffe is kind of baffled, surprised by what this tortoise or turtle is saying? Because he's been complaining about his neck the whole time, hasn't he? Is there something that you complain about, about a lot that somebody else might love? Goodness, I can only imagine all the reaching and grabbing and looking around I'd do. I'd accomplish many of my goals for sure. Meanwhile, I'm saddled with this little excuse or saddled for with this little excuse for a neck. Here, watch me to try to stretch it out. Ugh. See? That's about as far as it goes. Pathetic, right? I'm basically necklace. Hmm. You feel bad about your neck, too? Yep. Huh. I'm Cyrus, by the way. I'm Edward. It's lovely to meet you, Cyrus. Can I tell you something else? Or something else, Edward? Of course, Cyrus. What do you think he's going to tell him? <clears throat> there is a hill in the distance which you can surely see from your great vantage. I've stood on that very hill for seven straight days now, staring skyward, watching as a single piece of fruit, a lone banana, 
slowly change from green to yellow, ripening. I've endured windy nights. Hmm, what do you think endured means? He's endured windy nights and unseasonably brisk mornings. Think about windy nights and brisk mornings. Maybe survived, kind of went through something that was t difficult with very little sleep. As I waited and waited, hoping against hope that the fruit would drop before me so I could sample its sweetness and nourish myself in the process. Huh. What do you think nourish means? When he's eating something, nourish, and it's something really good for you. You're providing your body with something that's really good. You're feeding yourself. Yet, day after day, I felt like such a fool as I stretched my neck toward those greeny branches, only to be limited by my own physical shortcomings. Is his neck long enough to reach up there to the tree? Do you know whose is? What do you think he's going to do? You want a banana from a tree? That's what I said. Yes. Punk. How do you think Giraffe's going to start feeling about his neck now? Here you go. Oh, you did it. You made it look so easy. Munch, 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 munch. Delectable. <gasps> Another vocab word. What do you think delectable means? He's been wanting this fruit for a very long time, and he finally is able to eat it. It's really good tasting. Delectable. Delicious. It's another synonym. So that's what a banana tastes like, huh? It was worth the wait. Edward, face it, your neck is impressive. It allows you to do amazing things. For, for instance, you just solved my week-long banana dilemma in 10 seconds. Well, thank you, Cyrus. I think you have a swell neck, too. It's elegant and dignified, and it works well with your shell. That means a great deal to me, Edward. Say, do you like bow ties, Cyrus? I'm, I'm not sure, Edward. I've been, or I've had, I've had very little experience with them. You look wonderful, Cyrus. As do you, Edward. I feel good about our necks, Edward. Thank you, Cyrus. For once, so do I. Yes, for once, so do I. All right, I want you to retell that story to a um, family member, friend, or you can write it down. And you can record yourself retelling that story on Seesaw and submit it, or you can pick your favorite part. Share something about the story that you really liked and share it with your teachers on Seesaw.